Greetings, and welcome to episode 41. In today's episode, we'll be talking about type A personalities versus sociopathic personalities. They are two distinctly different personality types. Now, in the description, it's just going to say type A personalities because that's a lot to put on the, the video tag, just even to save it on the computer file. So, it's just going to say type A personalities, but it's really type A personality types versus sociopathic personality types. I just have been running in, having run ins with a lot of these personality types lately, and I just, I needed to put it out there, the difference, because some people don't know the difference or didn't really realize there was a difference. Uh, but yeah, that'll be. <laughs> what's going on today uh, sorry the video so late but I am getting you a video today so if we're ready sit back relax and enjoy so type A versus sociopath We'll start with type A. Type A is natural leadership qualities, strong-willed, but usually doesn't really want the position of leadership, and most times won't even put forth their opinion or ideas because they don't want to appear as though they want leadership, the position of leadership. These qualities are born. You're born with them. True leaders are born. It takes more than being in charge to be a leader. And that's where sociopaths get it wrong. They assume because they're in charge that they are a leader. And they are not. <sighs> sociopaths tend to have a, a sense of entitlement. That they deserve or need to be in charge for whatever reason and we'll get into entitlement later in a different video but it's more of a an emotional not even emotional it's more of an ego driven how would I say this it's more of an ego driven quest for power than it is for the type A the type A is uh, they're just leader. They got that those leadership qualities, and leadership usually falls into their lap, usually by chance or accident. They're not seeking it, whereas the sociopath will actively seek it because they think it's their right to be in charge, and that it's it's like some emotional deficit somewhere makes them feel like they need to be in charge. It's it's. It is an, it's, it's an act of ego. A leader will state his position and leave it up to you. A sociopath will hammer it in and hammer in. I'm the boss. I'm the boss. Do what I say. Do what I say. Whereas a leader, a real leader, doesn't have to, doesn't have to do that. You know he's in charge. You know what he expects from you. And if you slip up, he'll let you know. He doesn't try to control every detail of your life. He's only He knows he's only in charge of the time you're on his clock, that you're on his watch. He knows that beyond that time, once you're off his time, you're probably off his mind. The last thing he wants to think about is you. <laughs> whereas a sociopath wants to control each and every individual aspect of a person their work life, their private life, everything even trying to take an active role in their relationships if they can you have to be careful of the sociopathic type because they're out to do for themselves whereas a leader lifts up people 
so they can do for themselves. A leader doesn't want to have to look after you every five seconds, and they're not going to walk around looking for things to uh, berate you about. You're not doing this right. You're not doing that right. You're not doing this right. They're going to walk around. Uh, uh, type A is going to walk around, and they're going to be more of the of the mindset. Hey, you're doing a really good job at this and this and this and 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 if you do by some chance need correction in one area or another they're gonna say you know I noticed this if you need some help in that area I you know just come and ask I can I can hook you up you know what I mean <clears throat> whereas the sociopath will be you better do it right God damn it rah, 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 rah. just barking orders and just negativity on people because like I said they believe it is their right like their divine right to be in charge and that's completely ego driven completely and like I said these people seek out power whereas a type A a real type A is more likely to decline the opportunity to uh, to be in charge that's just not what they're after in life because they're not speaking from a deficit somewhere or 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 a wounded ego or or an ego at all it is not that, and that's part of the reason why they don't want to be leaders they don't want to develop that haughty attitude of entitlement I'm in charge no, I'm not saying that that never comes up because I've been in charge before and I was a damn good leader uh, I was a uh, supervisor of a trust plant on second shift and we put out better numbers than first shift that shows leadership when you can get more work out of your guys than the next guy and I didn't lead from my ego I lead it I let them know what needed to be done and I let them also let them know that you know, you know you guys can do whatever you want as long as you get my stuff done you know if there's something needs done do it but if it's if the work is done hey they had a barbecue grill out back at lunch for lunchtime <laughs> first shift was pissed well how come you let them do the hey <laughs> if they're gonna keep giving me these numbers they can keep having that barbecue grill <laughs> I put people where they belonged and didn't just force them, hey, you're going to work on a jig, and if you can't work on this jig, then you're out of here. I asked them, what would you feel more comfortable doing? I found two high-load drivers that way, <laughs> or forklift operators, if, for those of you that aren't from Michigan or the Northeast, because I took the time to ask them where they would rather be and what they're proficient at. And so the guys that were better with the hammers were on my jigs, and the guys that were better outside were outside. We did good work. And I didn't even want to be in charge. They pulled me into the office one day and told me I was it. First it started out, well, you're it till we find someone else. And then they came back and told me, we're, we're not looking for anybody else, you're it. <laughs> That's what I mean by a type A will usually have it fall in their lap on accident. <laughs> or it will be bestowed upon them whereas the ego driven sociopath will, will be seeking it out as it is in their mind their divine right to rule <laughs> when we all know there is no such thing <laughs> uh, just a lot of that lately I, I've been seeing the people with the forceful energy that think well I'm bigger I should be in charge no you're not bigger that doesn't make you in charge and just because you are in charge doesn't make you a leader and doesn't give you the right to control my time I'm on your clock I'm on you at your place sure we'll do it your way but once I'm off your clock and I'm at my house Pardon my French, but you need to back the fuck away. For real. <laughs> it just seems to me that uh, 
the sociopath is looking for any reason to be in charge and anyone they deem as a threat to their superiority they try to get rid of or put down to a position that forced attrition I guess would be the only term I could come up with where where the where the person would feel uh, humbled not not even humbled just I can't even think of the word and I know the word is on the tip of my tongue but the sociopath will try to break the type A down because the, the sociopath can feel that this person is a leader not just in charge but a leader and the what's funny is the sociopath will come across the type A the type A is not in charge not looking to be in charge but that sociopath will still feel threatened by that type A because people can tell when there's when you have leadership qualities I was it was pointed out just the other day that I had leadership qualities I wasn't looking to be leader I don't want to be leader there's reasons I don't want to be leader or in charge that's just not something I want but a sociopath will go out of their way to get that for themselves out of their way because it feeds into their ego whatever part of their ego or emotional state that's broken that being in charge fills the void being in a position of leadership it's, it's, it's doubly or triply so if your boss has a boss then he it's doubly so especially when that other boss is around and god forbid if your if, if his boss has a boss then shit trickles down and it's three times as bad <laughs> but yeah i just i don't play into that and i don't play that game you want me to do what i'm told when i'm on your time and at your place fine that's fine and everybody feels that way and we've all met both types we've met the leader that was just a damn good leader and you would do anything for that person you would give up your days off you would you know work extra hours and then you've worked for the guy that just had to be in charge and you just didn't want to do anything you wanted to give him the to the minute what was required to perform the job and not lose your job <laughs> You're not getting any more, well, any more, and I'm not allowed to give you any less. Is pretty much the attitude when there's a sociopath in charge. But we, like I said, we've all had that type A that's just a good leader, and it's not about the ego. It's about uh, I ended up in charge. Let's make this work, and that's usually how a type A looks at it. And like I said, the type A wasn't even looking to be in charge when they got in charge. It was just, hey, the next level's coming up. It's it's like this. We we either promote you or we gotta bump you. And so they take the promotion. Now, if it came down to like that, lose your job or take the promotion, I would probably take the promotion. But I'm not seeking leadership at all. And most type A's don't. That just means type A, you're an alpha. But it's something you're born with. It's not ego driven it's not in the mind it's in the heart and people see it people feel it people are drawn to type A's people aren't drawn to sociopaths sociopaths go up go out and round them up even if you're they're not your boss they're just in your circle of friends you'll notice that they round up people to have a bigger click of friends and a bigger click of friends and a bigger click of friends and they'll let you know that I'm in charge of this click I don't hang out with people like that and I don't appreciate people like that because in my opinion being a leader being born with real leadership qualities is a gift and I wouldn't waste it on bullying my friends I wouldn't waste it on bullying employees type A's don't sociopaths do now I'm not going to say that there's not exceptions to every rule. I've seen true type A's that were good leaders 
have sociopathic tendencies where they're completely ego driven they still have those qualities that make them a good leader but yeah it's completely ego driven but then there's not a lot of people that know how to put down the ego and live from the heart but I've yet to see a sociopath with type A qualities at all in 40 years on this planet I have yet to see a sociopath with type A qualities you're in charge you're not a leader huge difference huge difference being elite like I said being a leader is something you're born with being in charge is a position that's given to you or that you go out and actively try to make happen such as wanting to be in control of a clique of friends or going out and fighting for that that promotion I gotta be in charge I gotta be in charge my ego can't take being equal to someone my ego can't take someone else being in charge of me I wish it were that simple I don't mind people being in charge of me what I mind is working for other people and not having like a, my family not having a business going on I wouldn't mind working for a family member that'd be different but working for strangers and have them uh, belittle and talk down to me because of their could because of their mental disorder that they did they didn't keep in check <laughs> yeah I'm not down with that and I'm not usually keen on being a party to that like I said even when I, I you, you, you make friends with people and they're like oh yeah I want you to meet the rest of my friends and then you you go and you're in this group and it doesn't have to be a huge group it's five six people there and there's always that one person that's trying to be in charge of everybody else and when they realize they can't control you like you don't go along with the herd they don't like you and so either your friend peels off from the herd and hangs out with you or your friend will stop talking to you because so-and-so didn't like you and so-and-so is in charge and it's not spoken that way but that's I mean I grew up in, in friendships like that and in, in, you know the cliques you have I grew up in friendships like that where someone always tried to be in charge and then look back the person that was calling supposedly in charge of our clique was getting all his ideas and information from me <laughs> long story short uh, he wasn't really the leader he was just in charge that it kinda makes me the leader he was just in charge and the sociopath there are certain things the type A personality has that the sociopath will never have which make it always the better leader because they didn't want to be in charge they don't abuse the position because they're not leading from their ego they're leading from their logic reason and from their heart not only do people tend to flock to them willingly but they stick around willingly they will do anything for this person and when they have when that type A true leadership person has to leave it's felt their their absence is felt whereas people can't wait for the sociopath to get the fuck out of there <laughs> when the sociopath leaves nobody cares because there's something about that person that you're either intimidated or afraid or something's keeping you attached to that negative person because it's cool to have friends that's not cool to have those kind of friends at all so all I can say is I mean watch for it 
Watch in your life now. Who's the leader of your clique? Or who's in charge of your clique? Is it you? Is it somebody else? How do you feel when that person's not around? You feel like, oh, it's not so stressful anymore because I don't feel like I have to live up to anything or impress anybody. If that's how you feel when the leader leaves, then they're not a leader, they're just in charge. And maybe you need to find a different clique or be the leader yourself. You can challenge the leader. You can challenge whoever's in charge of your clique for the leadership position. All you have to do is go against them. No, we don't want to do that. And speak for everyone when you do it. Ah, we don't want to do that. We want to go over here. You do that five or six times, and they'll either peel off and go find another click to run, or they'll just accept that you're now in charge. <laughs> That simple. But I'm not one to take crappy treatment sitting down, or lying down, I should say. And <clears throat> people need to be mindful. And I'm hoping, I'm speaking to you on the uh, assumption that you're not the sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> anyone watching this video <laughs> I am assuming that you're not the sociopath I'm assuming that you've done enough work that you can control your ego and that if you are in a position of leadership that you are the type A personality type and you are a true leader but yeah I if you are under the thumb <coughs> excuse me if you are under the thumb of an oppressive sociopath I was going to say that different, uh, differently. If you're under the thumb of the sociopathic type, bear in mind that that's a mental disorder. And you staying under that thumb is enabling that disorder. Because it feeds on complicit behavior of the sheep in the flock. <clears throat> rage against the dying of the light. <laughs> and I'm not against a clique having a leader. I'm against a clique having a sociopath in charge. We got to do things my way. Or else my ego gets butt hurt and then I turn everyone against you with a trick called triangulation. That's where when you go home for the night, I tell everybody else to stick around and I talk shit about you to them before you have a chance and while you're not there to defend yourself that's called triangulation and then when you go to so-and-so they've already been turned against you and then when you say oh well that's weird and you go over to the other so-and-so and they're turned against you like oh that's weird and then the next time you guys are hanging out it just feels awkward and you feel like you're being left out yeah that's triangulation at work and you've just been you've just been fired from the click <laughs> your friends just fired you we've all been through something like that except no substitute <laughs> type a personality is usually the dominant alpha but they don't want really to be in charge and they don't want to be in charge at the expense of somebody else's ego <laughs> because a type a personality a true type a personality cares and i hear them say type a personality oh they're just strong willed blah, blah. no no that's not type a when the strong willed that's come from the ego and that's just sociopath <laughs> You can be a dominant alpha personality type and not be a sociopath. Just like being a sociopath doesn't make you a leader. <laughs> and doesn't automatically mean you should be in charge. Have I seen sociopaths do a good job with the position of leadership? Sure. Doesn't change the fact that they were sociopaths.
<clears throat> Likewise, when I've seen the type, the true type A alpha uh, type personality in charge with sociopathic tendencies didn't diminish the fact that they still did have, I mean, they truly had the leadership qualities. They just happened to have sociopathic tendencies also. That's just because they're leading with the ego. I mean, we all have one. We all have an ego. But, like I said, some of us tend to keep that ego under control because that ego doesn't just spawn sociopathic behavior. And I'll get into that in a different video down the line. And it's something that we all need to look out for because we're all capable of it. As long as we nurture an ego, we're capable of extreme neuroses, we're, we're capable of sociopathic behavior, we're capable of narcissistic behavior. And in my opinion, narcissistic behavior is probably worse than both the neurotic and the sociopathic. And I'll get into that later. Matter of fact, those just happen to be the videos I have planned for the week. <laughs> but yeah, it's 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 crazy the way people view things. And it's even crazier that people let them get away with it. When I see a sociopath over overstepping their own bounds, I more than likely will go say something to them. Because I don't deal well with people that lead from the ego. I'm not here to cater to your ego. Nowhere on the application or in the company policy said I had to cater to your your ego or your neurotic behavior. I'm in charge. Really? Because if you were a true leader, you would have never had to say that. You would be able to accept other people's ideas as maybe being better than yours and see the sociopath will say I'm in charge you don't come up with ideas and then like a week later will come up with this kick-ass idea that sounds a lot like the idea you told them <laughs> a leader a true type A alpha personality will be like anything that makes a team stronger And they will take that, then not just take that idea into consideration. If that idea is better than what they have going, they're going to use it. Anything to make the team stronger. It's the, like the difference between treating them like, like children and treating them like your, your, like sons and, and daughters. Not all of my children, not all of my kids are children. One of my ch children is an adult. So when I say treat them like sons, I mean treat them like my son, who is 19, will be 19 years of, of age next year. Well, what is it? What's today? The 31st? The 30th? So 2015 is in a couple of days. So he'll be. 19 this coming April, we'll put it that way. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's the difference. Sun Tzu said it best. Treat them like children, and they'll follow you into a crevasse. Treat them like sons, and they'll follow you into hell. And a true type A alpha personality type does that automatically. They don't know any other way to lead. It's just natural for them to lead that way. Because they are true leaders. They're not leading from the ego. They're leading from logic, reason, and the heart. And a fair amount of creativity. And a leader, don't, don't get it twisted either. A leader doesn't really have to be creative. A leader just has to be smart enough to employ someone that is. Or gather to the group somebody that is. Just bear that in mind. And be mindful. Make sure you're not the sociopath. Make sure you're not the one with the neurotic behavior.
make sure you're not putting yourself under the thumb of someone that that perpetuates that that kind of friendship leadership whatever it is that they have that whatever position they have in your life make sure you're not under that type of thumb because it can become emotionally stressful for you and stress we all know stress is bad oh but I gotta have this job and oh, 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 oh. if that job is killing you and that's what stress does then you need to find another job and I'm not joking when I say there's a difference between a true alpha and a sociopath a sociopath is probably not even an alpha they just want to be in charge and because if you notice people that lead with their ego are so thick headed that it doesn't really register that they're not leadership material they just want to be in charge huge difference huge <laughs> Can anyone learn to be a leader? Yeah, sure. Why not? All it takes is confidence and a good read of people. Good judge of character and confidence. That's what it takes to have true leadership. A fair amount of empathy and compassion doesn't hurt either. And I say that, that those things usually come stock in a good leader. I mean, ask around. Ask, ask if I'm wrong. Ask your friends. Ask your loved ones. Ask them, and and pay attention to your clique. Who's in charge, and are they a sociopath? Are you the one in charge, and are you a sociopath? That's one of the main reasons why I stopped making friends because at this late stage of the game, I'm 40 years old. You're going to end up part of somebody else's clique. And you're probably not going to be the one in charge. And the odds that you're going to come across a sociopath in this day and age are staggering. <laughs> so I just rather keep it to myself. My friendship, that is. I mean, don't get me wrong. I may, yeah, I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to be cool with him and I'll hang out with him. But it's not going to be on such a, a level that they they can even say I'm part of the clique or that the sociopathic leader can say that I'm under their thumb because if I you hang out with your friends for relaxation and if you're under the thumb of some sociopath you ain't relaxing this is a fact you just you're not relaxing but uh yeah we're about on to the 30 minute mark a little bit past it I just thought I should get this out there because I've been seeing a lot of it lately a lot of it and it's not something that just came up it's just man it's just popping up like mad lately and so I thought I'd get it out there and it the video popped up late in the day because I was at a loss for things to talk about I wasn't going to talk about these things I kinda had other things in mind but I just like I couldn't make a decision so I decided on that but uh yeah if you've enjoyed this video please click the like button you can favorite it if you want also feel free to leave comments down below or video response this is supposed to be a discussion I want to hear your take on it you know a little bit back and forth would be nice uh, if you would like to keep getting information like this from me and bear in mind this is based on life experience not just me talking out of my butt because I heard someone say something one time <laughs> then if you if that's what you want or maybe you just like the sound of my voice <laughs> then go ahead and please click the subscribe button but until next time you hang in there <laughs>